I'm going to ask you a question. Is your goal something you truly want? And what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get it? Are you willing to commit fully to accomplishing this goal? Or is it just something you want to fall into your lap? Let's go for a walk. You guys know I'm a huge fan of, of Zen masters and I follow the Zen. I like to call myself a Christian Zen. And there's the story about this old man, a hermit, who was meditating by the river. And this guy walked up to him and was like, yo, I want you to teach me. I want to be one of your disciples. And the old man asked him why. And this guy said, because I want to get closer to God. So the old Zen master got up, he grabbed him by the neck and he dumped them in the water and this guy was underneath the water and he was fighting for his life and he was kicking and screaming and then right at the last minute the Zen master lifted him up and once the guy calmed down he asked him when you were underneath the water what did you want more than anything and the guy said air so the Zen master told him to go home and when you want to find God as much as you wanted air underneath water come back to me and you can be my disciple. Man, I love stories like that because it really puts into perspective how hard we're willing to work in order to receive, to reach our goals. When I started my climb and becoming a world famous blogger, uh, influencer, personality on the internet, I did everything in my power to become that person to the point where I transformed into a character and I was that character 24 seven. Think The Undertaker in WWE and how he didn't break a lore. But you know, I, I started out small and I got bigger and bigger and I achieved things. I eventually hosted, uh, was part of the hosting committee for E! Network. I interviewed Denzel, Tom Hanks, all of these people and I achieved something that I wanted to do. And, but it was hard work. And I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed my kids. I sacrificed a lot of things, but I, I've accomplished a lot and I should have had more of a plan. But in my later years, I realized that you can truly achieve anything you want to achieve if you put in the work, if you're willing to do everything it takes to put the effort in to accomplish the goals. It's like one thing you need to do is understand the power of small steps, right? If I dump a gallon of water on someone, they'll become wet. But if I want to break a rock, I could simply just drip water on it consistently and eventually that rock will split. There is a lot of power in consistency. There's a lot more power in consistency and perseverance than there is in just one big splash. And I think a lot of times what fails people is that they're unwilling to do the small work. I am used to getting millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views, but when I post something and put hours into doing it, uh, I can get discouraged when I, when I get 120 views or 300 views. That's heartbreaking when you put in literal hours of blood, sweat, and tears, spent thousands of dollars on equipment, and you put out a video and it's like 300 views, not even 300 views. It's heartbreaking, right? But it's those small steps. I remember when I was interviewing um, Trevor Noah when he first got The Daily Show, and someone asked him about... Uh, legacy is this your legacy and he was like no man I'm just getting started he was like I like to hike and eventually step by step step by step I'll accomplish things and after I'm all said and done I'll look back and I'll go oh that was my legacy it also brings me to another thing of Mike Tyson talking about he doesn't have a legacy he doesn't care about a legacy we're all gonna die and that's true like your legacy isn't even for you, so why should you care about your legacy? And that's one of the things about humility is that we can't be too egotistical to take those small steps. Those small steps are crucial. Those small steps are truly what make a person. And I'm committed to taking the small steps, and that's one of the things I'm doing to achieve my goal is coming out, doing videos like this, so I can become a public speaker. And I think there's a bit of vulnerability and a bit of putting it in the atmosphere to say, I want to be a public speaker. I want to speak at events. I want to be a keynote speaker. I want to travel the world speaking to people, telling my story about how I rose to success, how I fell, fell from success, about all the things I accomplished, all the failures I, I had, and how that made me great. Because you can fail your way to success. I think that's another thing to do as well, is to fail your way to success. 
we all have these goals and we all want to accomplish these goals, but we got to be willing to fail. Right now, there's a mass exodus of the website formerly known as Twitter. But if you look up how Twitter got their start, Jack was making something for another company and then they and they made this messaging system. And the company was like, hey, we just want the messaging system. We don't even want the thing we originally made it for. Not to say that it wasn't a, fa a failure, but they didn't make the thing that they started out to make. If you look up all these things, I was just watching a video about Plato. Plato, the teacher, was tired of the clay getting so hard. And her brother-in-law was like, hey, this wallpaper remover could do the trick. <laughs> so they made sure it wasn't toxic and then toxic and boom, Plato. The same thing with Gerber. People were mushing peas together and the Gerber family had, they had a bottling company and they started bottling the mushed peas to, for, for babies. And all these things happened by accident. They happened because that wasn't the original goal. And it leads me back to my first portion is just take the small steps. When you take those small steps, you have no clue where it will lead you. And that's part of the beauty of setting out to do things big and setting out to create big goals. I think that's my third thing as well, is to create a goal so big that it frightens you. I am committed to doing things that scare me. I am committed to putting myself out there. And, and part of the thing that truly brings me peace is that I am not unique, right? I am not different from anyone else. That's you, that's Oprah, that's Barack Obama. None of us are unique, but yet we go on to do amazing things. We are all cut from the same cloth. We are all children of God, right? And we can do these things if we put our minds to it, if we do the steps it takes to accomplish these things. I think that's beautiful. Create big goals, man. Dream so big that it frightens you. Take small steps. Take small steps, be consistent. And don't be afraid to fail your way to success because a lot of times people could do stuff and give up and quit and become upset that they did this thing. But nah, man, you got to go hard. You got to go hard. You got to go deep. Yeah, that Zen story really, really helps me in a lot of ways understand all of the things that we go through and the things that we have to sacrifice or be willing to sacrifice. But on the flip side, it shows us that a lot of people aren't even committed to sacrificing. This guy wanted to see God and the Zen master literally was like, I will show you God and try to drown him. <laughs> and the guy was like, nah, man, I want air. <laughs> I want to breathe. He had the strong will to live and then people don't want to live. That's crazy to me. And living could just be normal, man. Living could just be chill. Living could be chill. And it's okay to have a chill life, especially after 40. It's okay to have a chill life. Are your bills paid? Yes. Do you love your wife? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. If you're not happy, what do you need to be happy? Choose to be happy. You could be content with everything you have. I'm good. I want more, but I'm good. I'm happy. My kids are happy. My kids make me happy. Committed to being a better father committed to being a better person. I've had a lot of mistakes and a lot of failures in my 45 years on earth, a lot, more than I'm willing to count. But I'm here and I'm doing me and I'm still trying to give my kids something when I, when I, when I die, trying to provide for my kids and give them experiences that I never had. Like me and my kids this week, we went to a fairy trail. Yeah. We went on a trail and looked at fairy houses. Got a door. You, the door open? <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing growing up in the crack era. Nothing. Man, life is amazing, bro. Look at how I got a bird in it. You can see the fairy inside. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. There's acorns inside there, too, for the fairies to eat. <gasps> you want to put an acorn in there so they can eat it? Look, put an acorn on it so the fairies can eat it. Awesome. Okay, one is enough. One is enough. Hey. JP, you like the fairies? Say fairies. 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 